it is ash welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here yes i have wet hair i just got out of the shower my hair was super greasy and i couldn't hide it and this is my second time recording this water is still dripping from my hair but we're gonna do this video because at least my hair ain't greasy it's clean it's fresh and it smells good but anyways today i am going to show you guys all of the celebrity fragrances that I have in my collection. I've been wanting to do this video for quite a while. I saw this funny clip by Coco Pebs on Instagram about like people that say that they only wear niche and that they won't wear designer or celebrity perfumes. It's really hilarious, so I'm gonna like insert it right here. <laughs> Like, like thinking about like that there's people like that that only buy name brand and that only have niche and they can't have designer and they can't have, you know, celebrity or store brands and stuff like that. It just, ugh, it just boils my blood because to me, I think that says a lot about a person, the, the fact that a person can say that. And it's like, if you're saying that about material things, what are you saying about people? And how happy would you be if you had absolutely nothing? Now, I know, I know, I know, I get it. It's just perfume and I'm being super dramatic, but what can I say? I'm a very passionate person. I'm very open, I'm deep. And if you don't like that, then I don't know. Today, today is not the day. And I am not the one. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's all I gotta say about that. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and get right into this video. I just have all of the celebrity perfumes in this bag from Altered State. I just needed something to carry them over here with because there's quite a lot actually. So I'm gonna start with the first one. I count this as a celebrity fragrance because this woman has made quite a decent amount of fame for herself from having like her own shop online to having her own music and having her own TV shows. And now, well, as of like last year, I think she has her own perfume and I'm very proud of, of her. Like, that's really cool. She's like, her and her sister are such like entrepreneurs, it's ridiculous, but it's inspiring at the same time. And that is none other than the Gabby DiMartino, and this is Beautiful Mess. And before people go like hating on this perfume or this person in the comments, because when this came out, there was a little bit of like a scandal going on. Um, you know, the girl made a mistake. And everybody is like so quick to just like crucify her and want to cancel her. And can can we just stop? Can we just stop this cancel culture? Like, has it ever occurred to anybody that maybe cancel culture is, you know, I don't know, one of the reasons why we're not all getting along. And if you messed up, wouldn't you want people to like so show you some grace and some mercy? Because last time I checked, no one is perfect. Um, but anyways, so yes, this is Gabby DiMartino Beautiful Mess. And this perfume is absolutely amazing. I am very proud of her. This does not smell like anything that I have in my collection, um, like at least one single fragrance by itself. But the best way that I would describe this is it smells like Mon Guerlain and Insolence by Guerlain had a little baby. And this is this is like their kid, like their teenager, their teenager girl to she's, I don't know, up to like her mid twenties or something like that. However, any age can wear this. I'm 32 and I'm rocking it. But anyways, it's just got this very buttery smell from the pistachio and then it kind of smells like gumdrops. I can't remember all the notes that are in here. Um, but they are on her website, so I would highly, highly recommend this. The projection, the lasting power, everything, it's so amazing. It's so sweet and luscious, and it has such character and like legit, seriously, can't say it enough. I'm so proud of her for 
the creation that she came out with and she actually put a lot of hard work into this. So next one is by Jessica Simpson and this is Fancy Love. This is a very good dupe for Burberry for women and I remember the way that I found out about this is it was in somebody's perfume collection like a long time ago and this girl is describing this as a very creamy, floral, sweet, cozy, inviting, very womanly boss fragrance. And she was saying that this is what a woman smells like. So I went out and got it and you know what? I have to agree. This is probably like my third bottle of this and I absolutely love it. I don't have anything in my collection that smells like this. Uh, and the description that she used is dead on, spot on. Also by Jessica Simpson is Fancy. I know this was in my last video, my last perfume video, but this is absolutely amazing. It can sometimes get like sickeningly sweet but that's mainly in the bottle. When it's on your skin, it does something amazing, at least on my skin, everybody is different. But to me, it smells like a Girl Scout caramel cookie. And I get a lot of compliments on this one. This is really where my love for perfumes started because I remember the day sitting in art class when I was like 16 and my best friend at the time, her name was Nicole, she was wearing, um, she was wearing this perfume and I was just like, oh my gosh, she smells so good. Like, what are you wearing? And she pulled it out of her bag and it was this bad boy right here, Fantasy by Britney Spears. This has kiwi in it and I know, uh, is this the one that has Keens in it? I have no idea what that is. I'm probably saying that wrong. But anyways, and it also has like cupcake and whipped cream um, notes in here. And back in the day, it used to have a smoother blend with the whipped cream cupcake notes and the kiwi notes. Now it's a little bit sharper. Oh my gosh, this still smells so good though. I wish that that they didn't reformulate this one, but it still smells really good and I still get a lot of compliments on this one. I have literally been wearing this ever since I was 16, since she recommended it to me. Also, A Fancy Sea by Britney Spears, but this is the Intimate Edition. And let me just tell you, this has got to be one of the most underrated celebrity perfumes that I have ever laid my nose on. It is so alluring, like it's addicting, like you can't stop smelling it. I wore this one day and um, I let somebody, like one of my friends borrow my coat and she just could not stop smelling the coat. And she's like, oh my gosh, you smell so good. And like, she was right, this smells amazing. And I feel like a lot of people are influenced by other people based off of this fragrance and they try to say that it's more just you know for like intimate like just something either you would wear at home or that you would just wear to bed but no honey no trust me just you know take real good care of yourself clean yourself up do your hair make sure that your outfit is nice and then spray some of this on and go out and this does amazing in the winter i promise you you're going to get compliments and you're going to feel confident. It smells very similar to Fantasy, the original, except for this has like a, almost like a powdery note to it or like a musky milkiness to it. And it's just absolutely beautiful. So 10 out of 10, recommend, definitely one of my favorites. Next perfume is Midnight Fantasy by Britney Spears. This one smells like sour Skittles. It's just so juicy and it mixes very well with other fragrances and I get a ton of compliments on it. The other one from Britney Spears is Believe. And this one, I absolutely love it. This one is like a fruity patchouli scent, like a fruit chewy scent. And this one reminds me of a oil treatment that I use for my hair by Vatica or Vatica. So to me, it kind of smells like cactus fruit because that's what's in the, um, in the hot oil treatment that I use in my hair. 
And so for that reason, I absolutely love this. It makes me feel so confident and just like beautiful, like without trying. Next we have Rihanna's Rebel Fleur. This one is, oh my gosh, amazing. I get a lot of compliments on these two, uh, on this one too. This is like a, like the brown coconut hairs on a coconut and the coconut water and patchouli. Those are the main things that I get out of it. So it's got that like cold, um, watery coconut smell with that spicy, dirty smell from the patchouli. But the combination together, like that probably sounds terrible. The combination together is amazing. And this is a very like boss lady type fragrance. Like somebody who's very confident and a very strong woman. So if that's your thing, I would highly recommend checking this out. This also mixes well with other fragrances. And then the next one from Rihanna that I have is Rogue. This one I'm still trying to get to know because it's newer for me in my collection. It smells very similar to Rebel Fleur in my opinion, but this one has like a sweet element to it and it develops more on your skin than uh, Rebel Fleur does. So I still have to see how I feel about this one. Next one I have is by Mariah Carey and this is M and this was in my last video, I know. Um, but this one you would think it's a fruity floral and it's actually it doesn't smell anything like that to me at all. This one to me smells like burnt marshmallows. I use the Vanilla Bean Noel lotion, body lotion, and then I also cover myself in this Cozy Fireside S'more by Bodycology found at Walmart. And the combination of these three, oh and gee, like I need to roast the marshmallows, I need to sit by a fire pro blah, blah, blah. I need to sit by a fireplace and just look all pretty and all nice and stuff like that. It's amazing. You gotta try it. This you can find at Burlington Coat Factory. Ariana Grande and that is Cloud. This is everybody knows it, it's compared to Baccarat Rouge 540. Never smelled that perfume, so I don't know if that's true, but there's about a million videos to uh, educate you on that if you really want to know. To me, this smells like a masculine, like fresh smell, like fresh clean smell. Like not really like citrusy, like shaving cream, deodorant, you know, like that base. Like I don't really know what's in men's. I think there's like lavender or something like that. I don't know. But, and then imagine adding like a little slight coconut scent and like marshmallow and milky creaminess. Uh, that's what this smells like. And this, oh my gosh, I love it. It's different. And I mean, to me, like I don't, I don't actually smell this on a lot of people, even though it's like super popular, but I absolutely love this. This is one of my favorites. And as you can see, like, I'm almost out, this is 100 mil. I need to get a new one because I love it and it makes me feel so confident and yes, get it. Then we have these girls right here. These are also by Ariana Grande. This one is Sweet Like Candy and this one is Ari by Ariana Grande. So these ones, I don't know if I'm going nose blind, but they smell very similar. This one was in my last video and I said that it smelled like a candy necklace and I think this one kind of smells like sweet tarts. I'm still also recovering from not being able to smell the greatest. Like recovering all my smell back. Um, yeah, they're very similar. Do you need both in your collection? Probably not. Will I continue to buy both? Probably yes, because the bottles are just so cute and they both just smell so pretty and they're very just like girly flirty very easy to wear for when you just don't want to put too much thought into what you're doing and you just want to be cute and feel good about yourself next one that i have is thank you next also by ariana grande this one is it smells like you are getting ready to make rice crispy treats it's got that buttery marshmallow smell and then add some coconut 
and some other tropical fruits, but the tropical fruits are a little bit lighter. So you don't smell like a straight up like pina colada. It is one of my favorite coconut smells and I probably will forever have this in my collection. Then we have these two by Sofia Vergara. This one is the original Sofia. This one I had in my last video and I almost, actually I had both of them in my last video. I almost returned this one because I thought it smelled too basic, but then I put it on my skin and OMG, some type of magic happened. And I absolutely love this. Like if you wear this as your everyday fragrance, watch out. Like you are that woman that has it all together. And like, I just feel like you're that woman that wears like button up blouses and your purse always matches your outfit and you always have nice shoes and you're just like a nice woman and you're gentle and you're confident at the same time. You have self-control. You are good with finances. Like that's what this reminds me of, like a woman. And then this one over here would be more of like a night fragrance, at least in my opinion. It has a coffee smell to it and then it has like a syrupy berries on the top. And the combination of those two is just so, so amazing. So you gotta give these a try. I got both of mine at Burlington Coat Factory. So I highly recommend. I almost forgot Moonlight by Ariana Grande. This one still has that marshmallowy uh, side to it and it's got like some fruity notes in there. This one is softer though and it's um it's very comforting i don't know why there's something about it that's very comforting i've heard that vanilla in general is like a comforting smell to most people so maybe that's what it is but i actually wear this one to bed a lot or like if i'm trying not to put too much thought in what perfume i'm wearing that day i will wear this like on more like cold days where i'm just like trying to stay cozy but yeah, it's also a good one. Do you need all three? Probably not. Am I gonna keep all three? Mm, I don't know, we'll see. I wanted to thank all of you that have been so kind and so sweet to me and have followed me along with my life journey and my journey with MS and as a Christian and just, you know, all the crazy things that life throws at me. I will have, you know, MS related videos and health related videos coming up. I just, uh, I watch a lot of fragrance videos like I'm obsessed so I just thought I would share my uh, collection with you guys so if you liked this video please hit that like button and subscribe and also turn on those bell notifications uh, so that you can be notified anytime that I post a video like this I just hope you have an awesome day and an awesome week and I will see you in the next one bye